All right, I have a Samsung Note 9 here, and the touch does not work uh, except with this thing, the stylus. So as you can see, it works with the stylus, but it does not work uh, with your finger. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so this is the LCD connector here, and uh, let's see, this connect the battery, this connect the LCD connector, and if we drill down here, there's like a little bit of a, there is something that looks like it's missing, and most likely this this uh, guy probably used this right, this edge right here to pry this, pry this uh, display connector off and accidentally mess this uh, component up here. Unfortunately, I don't really know what component this is, but um, if I diode mode this, so basically red, red on ground and black on each side. Now see that one side is 0 .49, 0 .50, another side is OL. So my guess is that that's most likely going to be a filter, okay? So I'm just going to put a filter there, and um, in terms of a touch filter, uh, I don't think there's much to it really. I mean, because it's it's really a low low voltage line. And hey Google, turn smoke on. That's my smoke absorber. Anyways, I'm just gonna use. It looks like it's a very very small component, so I am just gonna use probably like a backlight filter for 6s, which is pretty much my standard. So let's see. So 6s backlight filter is 240 ohms, 350 milliampers. 0201 is the package size. I hope that's the right size. I'm not positive, but it looks like it's about right. Don't burn that connector with your soldering iron. It might even be, it might actually be a smaller size. But this should work. Put a little more flux on it. Definitely don't really want to burn this, so let me just push this back before I muck it up. Okay. That's definitely not my best work, but uh more flux, more flux. Damn it. Definitely making this way harder than it really should be. <laughs> Let's turn this around. Okay. Okay, so that is fixed. Just gonna put a filter there, just clean it up a little bit. <laughs> and let's just diode, diode mode it one more time. I mean, it shouldn't. Don't think there's much to it. Let's see, 0 0.53, 0 0.53. Okay, that's fine. And now let's turn this thing back on, see if it works or not. Alright, as you can see here, 
touch works with the finger again and we are back in business all right thanks for watching I just wanted to say thank you for watching our YouTube channel we make these videos to help you guys learn how to do micro soldering um, for normal repairs um, I want to take this time to promote our online course here we created an online course hosted at udemy.com um, if you go directly to Udemy it's 150 bucks if you go through microsoldering.com click on store shop and then click on this first uh, product right here there's a coupon code that uh, gives you fifty dollars off of our online course so our online course it was created by Tom and myself um, it contains four and a half to five hours of online video instruction um, it'll teach you everything that you need to know to get started with micro soldering so basically we um, we start with the basics you know just the component level um, how to use ZXW tools um, what kind of how to set up your tools what kind of tools you need um, how to set up your hot air rework stations um, use your micro pencil and tweezers and DC power supply and all that stuff and then we go into actual repairs so the four most common problems are no backlight no touch no charge and loop disease and with the newer versions of the iPhones um, we also have a section on uh, logic board separation because with the 10 and up uh, the logic boards come in two pieces so we also have a section on how to separate them and put them back together and then our last section is um, all about data recovery so this is it's it's four and a half hours of just good stuff just to help you get started okay and with the way that cell phone repair is going these days I think it's um, essential to learn how to do micro soldering for your business um, if you're interested like I said just go to the website here microsoldering.com and click on uh, store shop and then click on this right here and you'll get fifty dollars off so Thank you for watching our channel and hopefully you'll enjoy the course. Thank you.